hello guys welcome back to ashane and if you are new here welcome back to htv to all our viewers and subscribers we say a big thank you to you guys so yes keep liking keep commenting and keep sharing our videos thank you thank you guys so here you all need to settle these guys especially the ladies so here we have a lady she does not want to get married as she claims what yes yeah, she, she wants to be a mistress married to a wealthy man plus the wife will be aware of it do you know me huh you know the person where they talk to you know if you're happy and proud see me they talk to you for this area eh see me can tell you maybe because i say i love you forget that too eh you suppose they're happy so they talk to you so first let me read her post I don't want to be married i just want to be a mistress to a wealthy married man whose wife is aware of our relationship and we all have a crazy threesomes and i can even come babysit for them if they are out together because i'm their trusted bestie and they are both in love with me hey, has come back hmm guys this is a big one let me ask ask a girl will you allow this to happen or will you be some mistress and all that as she's saying so this kind of fantasy and the kind of fantasy people are craving for these days is really terrible well probably choose some the hungry her so may her heart's desire be granted because i can't say may god grant her heart desire on this kind of stuff guys let us know what you think about her wish in the comment section still on it guys here we have blessing okoro the nollywood actress asking ladies to stop blaming their man yes for being too many guys and all that so guys listen to what she has to say ladies you don't always have to blame your man for being a two minutes man yes why are you blaming him for being a two minutes man most times it's your fault it's not a health issue it's your fault it is your fault the problem is that you are too sweet you too sweet <laughs> You know, when a woman is too sweet, a man does not know how to hold his body, he will just come. You too sweet. Rest. No be there for you too sweet. <laughs> the question is, are you sweet or is it your fault? Guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. So this video of a lady nearly done and walking towards her husband during your wedding has gotten a lot of people talking. So many are kicking against it but could this be a tradition or what because i don't understand what is going on here because there has to be a reason for this also so ladies will you do this on your wedding day so many are saying they can't so to the men will you allow your wife to walk or do this on your wedding day but why will you punish someone like this so the love of your life you just decided to punish her like this for no reason well for me this is not right this has to be a tradition and if it's a tradition guys it's not right so ladies will you do this on your wedding day or husband will you, will you let your wife go through this let us know what you think in the comment section about this as well so the lagos police has arrested an Oboni king as he claims so the man in this video narrated how he was arrested during the just concluded yoruba nation rally that was held in lagos so he's saying he's a king to the Oboni fraternity and yes he's also a real king plus he narrated how he was arrested saying he was one of them but it was unfortunate when the next one that is not very fast said, No, they don't go. We should wind up. We did. And he saw, he saw, or he saw me with crown, with full regalia, and said, Ah, they are Yoruba. We are part of them. Six, I have my cyber Solubo, which is Yoruba Ubudi. I have my Yeye Lufe, Abiodun Taiwo. I have, um, what's it called? Taiyeshe. We are six in number. So all of, all of, all of you are currently here now. We are currently here now. Where is Yeye? Yeye is there. You are not coming for the rally. You are not coming for the rally. We are, I, am, I am a king, Oboni king. You see me, you can see I put on white. All we wear is white. We went for worship. And we were coming in, in the, around something 10.30. After I rested at the conclave, where we worship. 10.30 a.m. Where we worship. Then we were coming. As we were turning to go, when we are descending to uh, Ikorudu Road, so that we'll be going to Ikorudu, we were stopped. Okay, where did you go to worship? Where were you? In Surulere. 
Yes. Yes. And you're going back to Ikorodu? We are going back to Where were you stopped? Mm -hmm. We were stopped on... Uh, well, when we, we get to... Um, before I get to... Okay. Okay. Okay, your name, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is... Um, Kabesi. Come. Come. Kabesi. Tajude. Olawari Wajude. Bakari. Ajamaje. My name is Kabesi. Tajude. Olawari Wajude. Bakari. Oba. Renowned Oguni. Avalaye. Popularly known and called all over the world as Ajamaje. Now tell us why. Yes, um, every first Friday, I am the king in Oboni. Every first Friday is our worship day. Oboni fraternity. I am the king in Oboni fraternity that has more than 2,000 followers that came to worship with us on that Friday. We started around 11 and we finished around 5 a.m. We have the video. You can see the pot I'm putting on is still the same thing I put on overnight. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. We started the worship 11 p.m. and finished 5 a.m. But because I'm going to drive, I don't need to risk my life. So I have to sleep for some time before leaving to my house in Yokorodu. And um, I slept. When it is 10.30, I think I'm comfortable. I'm okay. I can, I can drive. I was driving. One of my brother called me that my money is available. That I should meet him at 7 up. So I have to climb the bridge and went to 7 up to collect it. So when I'm coming back from the 7 up, I have to alight at Ojota inward my 12 to Yokoruju. That is where I was stopped. On the bridge coming down with my vehicle. It's not my car, it's not my car. I am the owner of the Jeep, not car. Jeep, not car. It's not my car. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing was wrong. Yes, while I was being picked up, the police stopped me when I wanted to alight. The first people I met stopped me, they checked the vehicle and they say, oh, he's the king, because I'm having my crown on me. I'm having my crown on me. They stopped me, they said, oh, it's Kabe, they checked the vehicle and they said we should go. Immediately after they said we should go, another set of people stopped us. And when they stopped, to go. Let's go. Let's go. when they stopped, not in my car. In my what is Jeep? What Jeep is your car? What Jeep? What Jeep is your car? What of the Jeep? What of the Jeep? What of the Jeep? Moving on, guys, here we have members and fans of the late prophet T.B. Joshua praying and paying tribute to him. Yes, even had a candlelight procession for him. And yes, they all danced and had a send off parade for him also. <laughs> It's a painful exit and his legacy will always be remembered. So TB Joshua's wife led the candlelight procession for her late husband. So thousands of followers of the late prophet TB Joshua gathered for a night of tribute and candlelight procession in his honor. The candlelight procession held in the Skowan Fit Resort in Lagos was led by his widow wife Evelyn Joshua, the pastor's philanthropist leader and founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, died on June 5th at the age of 57. So sharing photos from the candlelight procession, TB Joshua Ministry wrote on Facebook, Glory be to Jesus Christ, our Father in the Lord has gone home to be with his Creator. His memory and legacy will continue for generations to come in the mighty name of Jesus. May his gentle soul rest in peace. And guys, don't forget to like, share this video.